Hi everyone, this is Melissa O'Connor with the O'Connor Elder Law Channel. Um, today I wanted to address some common misconceptions um, that I frequently hear when clients come in seeking Medicaid planning. Many times I hear people come in and just ask me for special needs trust. They tell me that they believe that their loved one needs um, a special needs trust or they'll just mention in passing when I say what I, what I do um, for my clients and do Medicaid planning, they'll say, oh, that's right, if my mom or dad ever need um, Medicaid, we'll just get them that special needs trust. And uh, I wanted to just address special needs trusts real briefly. Um, I think that there's many times a misconception that you just get this trust and it cures all and it's the saving grace. And it's not every single individual's Medicaid plan is unique and different. Um, there's no one size fits all when it comes to Medicaid planning. Everybody's assets are different. Everybody's age and health conditions are different and everybody's goals are different. There are special needs trusts, what are called pooled trusts, which some people may find to be a benefit, but special needs pool trusts are not for um, estate type planning. These are not trusts that can, once you put your monies into a pooled trust, it will help your loved one qualify for Medicaid if that's the planning mechanism that you use. But the monies that are deposited into that trust are no longer um, able to be passed on to your family members when your loved one passes. It remains with the pool trust for the other trust members that are in the pool. So while it's a great tool for some people to qualify for Medicaid, it's not a tool that one uses if you plan to leave a legacy um, for your heirs. Um, there are other types of trusts which are more um, commonly called like Medicaid asset protection trusts or other things like that. And those are wonderful. And you can use these trusts even if your loved one is already in a nursing home facility. Even these trusts can be used even when there's uh, concerns about the five year look back period. Um, they're, they're a wonderful tool as well. Um, but again, it's not a one size fits all and it's not just um, putting the, pulling a, a trust document together and putting your loved one's assets in this trust and think that now you're going to qualify for Medicaid. It's really a unique process that each individual um, should have a specialist or a person who is an, a professional, um, an elder law attorney, um, some other qualified individual. Sometimes nursing homes have people on staff, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they are qualified, sometimes they're not ideal. Um, but really what you want to do is make sure that you seek out somebody who's knowledgeable and is able to guide you through the process so that way you have a unique Medicaid plan in place if your goal ultimately is to qualify for Medicaid. I hope that um, this has added value to you and that you understand what's the difference between a special needs pool trust versus an asset protection trust and how a pool trust you don't leave a legacy to your heirs but in an asset protection trust you may. Um, if you have any questions or concerns I recommend that you reach out to an elder law attorney in your area. Thank you so much and if you could like and share this video I would greatly appreciate it. Have a great day.